Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Progressive Preppers. I'm Matt Taylor, and I'm here with my good buddy. Kyle Amundsen. And today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of uh, stories, a couple of books that we're interested in. Yeah, uh, we've got some recommendations, uh, a couple of things that we really enjoyed, uh, a couple of things that we both actually uh, listened to. Uh, one's an audio book, and one is a, uh, a podcast. And we both listened to them uh, twice. Oh, yeah. I think I've, uh, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, the uh, It Could Happen Here uh, with uh, uh, Robert, Robert Evans. Evans. Um, I've listened to that one quite a few times. Yeah. Um, I'm, and at least parts of it I probably listened to five or six times. I'm planning on listening to it again. And, I'm, and after listening to uh, um, Sam Sheridan's... Uh, um, uh, it is uh, the Disaster Diaries. Yeah, the great Disaster memory. Diaries. Um, after listening to that the second time, it became clear to me that I was probably going to need to give it a third go. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty darn good. Well, let's talk good. a little bit about the Disaster Diaries first. So, yes. the Disaster Diaries. It's called uh, the Disaster Diaries. Um, how I learned to stop worrying and love the apocalypse. Now, this is one I passed on a couple of times because uh, we both uh, are avid uh, Audible listeners, and I'd seen it, and I read, uh, you know, just read, read just like the little blurb, and I thought, I honestly thought the guy sound like, like just reading his little uh, resume, I thought he sounded like. He was not going to be someone I, whose book I was going yeah, to enjoy. I, I don't know that I felt the same way, but um, after you said that, I'm like, yeah, he, he does kind of come off as kind of a poser. Yeah. But but then once you start listening to him, like it sounds like you're like you're expecting him to be like really like, well, uh, you know, like really full of himself and really arrogant and like and but and I found it to be the exact opposite. Exact opposite. Yeah. He so basically, uh, it's about the, it, it. It is a. Uh, it's about this guy, real real life guy, who uh, he was, he's pretty tough. He uh, fought some MMA, some amateur MMA. He was doing some boxing, um, and just a you know strong athletic guy, and thinks he's pretty capable. And then he has a baby. Well, and, he's been he's he's done some other cool, really oh, very like, adventurous cool stuff, stuff too, like firefighter, like sailing, and, yep. and you know he's like, and then yeah, the, uh, like, not just a firefighter, but like the, the extreme like the, firefighter, yeah, the woods, yeah. Uh, the. Uh, um, what do they call them? And where um, you go in in the you know yeah, and fight like wilderness, wilderness wildfires fires. and stuff. And so he has just this really cool like stuff. kind of extreme life, and then he and he thinks ah I could just handle anything, but then he has a baby and he starts freaking out about well, how can I protect this little thing, which got me like that sucked me in right away because that's how I got like because <clears throat> I I grew up kind of like prepper adjacent, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but. Um, uh, just small town country, like the, just that hillbilly stuff. But uh, uh, I had kind of gotten away from that. And, right. But then once my wife and I adopted Bear, like then it just hit me, you know, like, oh, my God, I've got to make sure this kid is taken care of and nothing bad happens to him and he survives. And blah, blah, blah. And, and it wasn't long after that that the pandemic hit. Yeah. And you started thinking, wow, do I have enough food to hold on to, you know, yeah. For three months and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, what Sam Sheridan does is he writes this book about his personal journey of, pe- of becoming prepared. And he really breaks it down into like, um, and it's not like a recipe book. It's, it's a, no, it's a, he just tackles different subjects piece by right. like one by one. Yeah, and one of my fa- one of my favorite parts of the book is 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 he is uh, um, oh one of my favorite parts of the book is is the way that he writes it. He writes it about his journey doing this, but he interlaces it with an actual story we- about st- stuff hitting the fan, and it's from his personal perspective. But it's like like we- it's really happening. And this is something that um, uh, Robert Evans does in the first season well. of. Uh, it could happen here, which is about a second American civil war. Now, both these guys do this. Um, there's just little, uh, uh, they just add little bits of a story. Yeah. Like you would call it like a scene. Yeah. Um, and if anybody knows what that's called, I know what it's called. It's called, did embedded, you find out? Yeah, I looked uh, it up. It's called excellent. embedded, embedded narrative. Uh, so he take, so it's an embedded narrative. So, <clears throat> um, when I got hooked into the, to the Sam Sheridan book, um, he was, he was, uh, uh, talking about how he and his wife are, are, are 
driving with the baby in the back and they're under a bridge in LA and all of a sudden, ooh, it starts to shake and the earthquake hits and the bridge is collapsed on top of the car and everything's going wrong and whatever. And then it cuts and he's like, man, if the end comes, I think I better figure out how to be strong. And then he starts, and, he, and so what he does is he ends up going to this expert and he like learns how to do um, Olympic lifts. Uh, Olympic yeah. lifts. And it was a real practical way to like approach like, man, I, I'd like to be stronger if, if, uh, if I'm going to be prepared to, to survive the apocalypse. It didn't hurt that he touched on a lot of stuff that you and I have talked about and a lot of stuff like uh, that you've trained in, that we've both trained in and stuff. Right. You know, like, uh, like the weightlifting and the well, martial arts. You more the weightlifting, but then he's but, gotten into the martial yeah. arts. But in there, just the one little piece that he said in that chapter was about... Um, uh, you might have to help me. What is it? What's it called when you uh, you you want to be able to do twice your body weight? Uh, deadlifting? Oh is it yeah. Deadlifting? <laughs> You're gonna have to show me how to do that someday. <laughs> but you know, it, and it's like it's like ooh, that's a really like practical goal that I think you know like you could work toward. And once you've reached that goal, okay. You're strong. Are you strong enough to survive the end of times? Maybe not, but you know you're strong. And it's probably a good idea to be strong. And he really, really does a wonderful job weaving that, that narrative into the actual story of, of what he has done. As does Robert Evans in his, book, er, in his podcast. Um, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. <laughs> it could, it happen, could here. happen here. Which is about um, the possible um, coming of the second American Civil War. Um, and... We've talked a little bit about this on our other podcast, but it's really important that you understand that it, it's not like, a, um, you know, a North versus South or conservative versus liberal. He's just talking about all of the different catalysts that could kind of like potentially uh, yeah, turn things um, south. Kind of a cascading type effect uh, when this system goes down, this system goes bad. <clears throat> you know, like what happens if the grid goes down and then also like these other pressures that you know, our, 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 you know, that we're feeling and stuff. Yep. Um, and like, you know, like if this goes bad and this goes bad, well then all this is going to go bad. And he talks about uh, like all kinds of, uh, you know, um, like I, we learned, uh, um, about, um, what was the, uh, uh, the the dominion the, the, the yeah, dominionist the, yeah the dominionist yeah which is a um, radical uh, uh, right wing uh, uh, Christian group you know that have some really um, extreme beliefs and I'd never even heard of them before we ended up having to go down the rabbit hole on that one yeah um, and just all kinds of uh, like and not just not just scary stuff really but like um, he talks about how well people like come together in a lot of disasters. Um, like he, they dispel a lot of, he, he talks about, um, um, like hurricane Katrina Yep. and all the horrible stuff we heard, you know, like, Oh, this, like, this is what's going on. And, you know, in, in the dome and stuff, you yep. know, and there's all these rapes and murders yeah. and all that stuff. And, 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 and it turned out to be bullshit. Come to find out it was actually quite the opposite that most, uh, people, um, yeah, well, I can't. I wish I knew off the top of my head, um, but I think there were uh, there were four deaths total at the at the. Uh, yeah, and they were one all of them like was a heart attack. Natural causes, was, and, and then there was and there was one, one was a mur- suicide, there, or one was a suicide. Yeah, I think that was that was it. There was one murder, but it was a suicide. <laughs> that's yeah. what it was. That's and, what uh, said. and there was a <laughs> was that that uh, National Guard uh, like uh, commander or whatever yep, who, um, was like talking about how like. Like yeah, uh, I saw uh, I saw a bunch of like uh, gangbanger kids, you know, like uh, yeah. and they were running around helping out as fast as they could yeah. and doing everything they he, could. His, to, his line was that, well, yeah, their their ass was hanging out, but they were working it off, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a great line. So both of them very good, and 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 Evans does a awesome job as well, interweaving a narrative in it, and he does it in a uh, it, not in a first person, but it, as it's like, you wake up this morning your alarm clock, you know, done it. So he puts it as like, he's telling you what happened and you're in that situation. It's a really masterfully done, um, way to, to and, do it. And he's got a cool background too. Um, he was a writer. He was a, a comedian. Well, first, what made me think of him, um, was, uh, uh, in the, in the, cause we were talking about the Sam Sheridan thing. Yep. Um, and we were we were going to do this episode, and we were going to talk about uh, the disaster diaries, uh, and then we got some feedback after the first episode um, uh, from Melody and uh, and her and her husband, and uh, uh, she said her her husband was a uh, uh, like a gamer, like a D and D nerd like me. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, oh, and then I, I was like, I have a recommendation because Evans, 
huge gamer huge gamer nerd yep. um and uh he also like did stand-up comedy which matt's done a bunch, matt's done a bunch of stand-up um he's a, like a a, a gun tote a gun packing lefty yep. um and uh oh he also um was a journalist who's been in like a bunch of war zones and stuff i didn't know that cracked the, ma- the old magazine, the, the magazine. comedy magazine and yep. stuff. I didn't know that they had like correspondence, but this guy's like working, was working for Cracked Magazine. Um, Going to like Syria yeah. and Libya. And in some yeah. horrible war zones and stuff. And yeah. uh, so he's got this cool background. Uh, so ba- both these guys with these cool backgrounds and these cool styles, um, yep. putting out some great, great stuff that we've really enjoyed. And one of the things that I liked about both of these, uh, these things is that they aren't just negative. They aren't just yeah. like the world's going to fall apart and you better, you know, you better make yourself a bunker and sit there with your shotgun. As a matter of fact, um, uh, Sam Sheridan <clears throat> addresses that exact thing like that. That's not now that might be a solution, but that's not the solution that the solution has to be the only way that you're going to be able to survive any adversity is by being dynamic. And that's his ultimate goal. <clears throat> well, Excuse me. Also, COVID. they both cover um, the uh, the need for community, the need for people. Yes. Uh, the whole lone wolf prepper thing. You know what? I'm not going to poo-poo anybody's style or whatever or their plan um, or their preps. Uh, but, uh, you know, going it alone is really, really, really hard. And the other um, problem or part about going it alone is in the end... Well, you're alone. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, if if that's if, if your only goal is to survive, okay, cool, good for you. But I'm not sure that that's actually contributing to the solution. And both of these guys are pretty solution oriented. Yeah, yeah. And I um, really appreciated that. And that uh, the whole intentional, uh, like Evans covers, like the whole like intentional community thing, where um, <clears throat> um, you know people are getting together, like even in like in really urban areas. Um, and talking, you know, and, and, and just to to grow vegetables, and right? To, you know, to to do security and all this stuff, and just to to like make a community from nothing, you right. know, from from the ashes. Uh, and there's also they, they include so much cool stuff that I'd never like. I, I learned so much with, with both of these, mm-hmm. um, uh, you know, like the uh, that 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 bomb. I don't I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, but that bombing that took place like during our childhood and stuff where like the police pretty much torched a couple of city blocks and right. stuff and to yep. get a, to get after that uh that that group um what was that chicago anyway uh yeah these uh, uh i learned so much from both of these and i was so happy that i was so wrong about sam sheridan yeah because yeah, that guy you. was so humble and i really liked his style and man is he smart yeah and smart. such a consummate also, like, martial artist i also stuff. really liked uh, so um, um evans is kind of tries to lay out a, an argument for the possibility of a second american civil war and he tries to be very realistic about it and um uh, Sam goes the exact opposite route, and his version of the apocalypse <laughs> yes. is a zombie, alien, earthquake, EMP. Uh, you know, <laughs> he like he covers all. Oh, global warming. He covers all <laughs> of the bases, and he and, and I think it, uh, by design, his point was is is you if you are preparing for a eventuality, you are prepared for one eventuality. But if you prepare for the fact that there will be an eventuality that you can kind of become a well-rounded prepper, it's probably your best approach or at least a, a good approach. So I really, I really appreciated both, both of these guys, and I hope that they keep working on it. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for you this uh, time, and we hope to see you guys again on Progressive Preppers.